If the left has a narrative that the United States is rooted in racism, sexism, bigotry, and homophobia, that all disparities are discrimination, and then they are confronted with the fact that not all disparities are discrimination, that in fact personal choice has a lot to do with both group and individual disparity, if they're confronted with any statistics along those lines, their immediate jump is to, you're a racist. Why? Because the narrative has been challenged. Don't be that. If your narrative is challenged by a fact, maybe you need to adjust your narrative to fit the fact, or maybe you need to determine whether the fact is true or not. As also part of understanding your own principles, you do have to recognize that there are certain principles that are immutable. And this is what conservatism really is about at root. Conservatism, to use the G.K. Chesterton metaphor, conservatism is different from leftism in the following way. If you're a leftist and you walk through a field and you see a fence in the middle of the field and you have no idea why that fence is there, your first instinct is to uproot the fence. I don't know why the fence is there, I'm taking it out. If you're a conservative and you see a fence in the middle of a field, your first instinct should be to say, I don't know why the fence is there. I'm gonna learn why the fence is there, and then maybe I will consider whether that ought to be removed. And that means looking at the lessons of history and recognizing that they have something to teach us. This has something to do with the conservative mindset, having a level of gratitude for those who came before, trying to understand the ideas of people who came before you and determining maybe why those ideas have been durable, what was good about those ideas, what needs to be maintained about those ideas. When folks wonder why the conservative movement has such reverence for the founding, it's because the results of the founding are the greatest upswell in human freedom and prosperity in the history of humanity. And that is also true because the founding embodied certain immutable and eternally true principles, principles we have not always lived up to, but principles that were true when they were written. And this is Lincoln's point about the Declaration of Independence. When Thomas Jefferson wrote, all men are created equal and have inalienable rights, when Jefferson wrote that, he was holding slaves at the time. But Lincoln said that was an immutable, eternal principle that we didn't live up to. And it is our job to make those principles apply to everyone the way that they were originally supposed to. It was articulated as a high principle by Jefferson for a reason, if he, even if he didn't personally live up to that principle in his own life. Those principles matter. And the conservative principles, the ones that really matter, are limited governments created solely to protect rights that come from nature and nature's God. That is conservatism in a nutshell. The founders thought that was self-evidentiarily true. I don't think it's self-evidentiarily true. I think that it is an outgrowth of 3,000 years of Judeo-Christian history and Greek reason. I think there are long roots to this. If it were self-evidentiarily self -evidentiarily true, then everyone would believe it everywhere. But it was self-evident to people who have been educated in the precepts of Western civilization and who founded the country. So educate yourself about those precepts. Realize why those principles matter.